first CBS 3 Eyewitness News. It's my pleasure to be here with you this evening. And on behalf of the Mazzoni Center, I'd like to welcome you and thank you all for being here tonight as well. This is my second year as the MC. I'm proud to be involved with this organization that has done so much to advance the health and well-being of our LGBTQ community here and in other areas around Philadelphia. Tonight is all about leading ladies. In particular, three remarkable women that we'll be introducing shortly. It's also an occasion to raise funds for Women's Health Initiative that Mazzoni is launching this year. So thank you all for being here this evening and being part of this special night. We have some uh, dignitaries in the audience that I'd like to announce. We're here this evening. I think they're still here. Uh, District Attorney Seth Williams, thank you very much for your support, sir. Gloria Casares, Director of Women's And Jim Kenny, thank you very much, Councilman, for being here. And State Representative Brian Sims, where's Brian? Is he? Oh, Brian. Making us proud in Harrisburg. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mazzoni Center's Executive Director, Nareet Shine. Thank you, Jim. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Elixir. The survival rate after five years is about 67%. But if detected early and treated localized, the survival rate is 90%. It's 90%. So we know that early prevention and early screening saves life. And here is the disturbing, disturbing What's going on? Here is the disturbing statistics. <laughs> Lesbian and bisexual women are ten times less likely to get prevention screening for cervical cancer. And why is that? And I'm going to be very, very blunt. It's not because the plumbing is any different. <laughs> but it is because many of us don't have access to prevention and care. Many employers don't pay for same-sex spouses insurance companies. And because many of us have already had very unpleasant encounters with the healthcare system. That's why we don't get screened. And that is why we're here tonight. With the money that we raise here tonight, with your support, Mazzoni Center is going to be able to provide continuous and affordable and comprehensive health care to women in the city of Philadelphia. to give care, screening, and treatment to women where we had to refer them out for. And we did a little kind of counting, and what we found out that with the care and with the money that we're going to raise tonight, we will be able to give 1,000 women of the city of Philadelphia comprehensive health care, health screening, and treatment, thanks to you. That is why we're here tonight. That is why we're here tonight, and I thank you for coming, for supporting, and for giving of your time, your efforts, and your money to us to be able to do this and to enhance our women's services at Mazzoni Center. Now, we all know that um, an event cannot come together 
just because we say it comes together. It takes a lot of planning and a lot of work and a lot of effort from a lot of people. So I want to thank the event planning committee, the honorary committee, and the event hosts who are here tonight. Thank you, everybody. and Brian McCavity for hosting this event. I thank every organization that gave uh, any of the items for the silent auctions and I hope we will not have to take any of them home with us. So keep betting on them. To the people who did in-kind donations, thank you as well. Okay. <laughs> All right. And to our uh, event and bronze um, sponsors as well. And special, special thanks to our board of director, directors and to my staff. Without them, this will not happen. The work that Mazzoni does every single day will not ever be possible. Thank you. Thank you, my board. Thank you, my staff. You are of your family. Um, I would like to recognize our silver sponsors, Cigna, Catherine and Yuvar, and Woody's. Our media sponsor, the Philadelphia Gay News, our gold sponsor for third years in a row, Walgreens Pharmacies. And of course, all of you are here tonight. Without your support, this will not be possible. Without your support, women in the city of Philadelphia will not have the medical services that they deserve. So, without further ado, to our three distinguished leading ladies of tonight, and first and foremost, to introduce our first honoree is our very own staff attorney, Barrett Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> 